Hey beautifuls! So today I'm giving you guys a update on my hair and my nails, which I know sounds kind of weird, but basically this is kind of the video where I address why I stopped dyeing my hair and why I took off my acrylics probably about the end of July. So it's probably almost two months that I've had my acrylics off now, which is crazy, and I'm actually okay with it, <laughs> believe it or not. So if you guys want to hear an update about my hair, sneak peek, I might be going blonde in a couple years back to blonde because I miss it. If you want to hear more about that and what I've been doing to take care of my hair, some of my favorite nail and hair products I've been using, then just keep watching and let's just get started. So first of all, I just wanted to briefly talk about my hair. It is roughly down to here now, which is amazing. And again, thank you guys for commenting on it and noticing it. I really do appreciate it because I have just been so determined to grow my hair out. It's not even funny. I've been taking the hair, skin, and nail gummy vitamins I've already mentioned a million times in so many of my videos, but those are seriously life-changing. I've actually been taking them not only once once a day but twice a day sometimes but most of all just like once a day just two vitamins and I'm good because I feel like that's done a lot for my nails and for my hair to make them grow if you don't want to do that then you don't have to but that's just what I've been doing because I am impatient and I want my long hair back it's been about over a year since I've dyed my hair, meaning bleached it. I consider the pink in my hair not to really count. I know I did space buns today because I wanted to try it, but I don't really consider the pink, you know, me dyeing my hair because I just dyed basically what was left of the blonde that was left over from when I had my blonde hair. Cut it all off in January, you guys know. So it has been about eight, nine months. That's an entire pregnancy. <laughs> since I've cut my hair, I had it down to roughly around here and now it has grown to here, which is incredible. Using a lot more dry shampoo, I can say, because all this brown hair as my natural hair. I haven't had my natural hair out like this since I was probably 12 years old. Yeah, 12 years old because that's when the first time that I ever dyed my hair. I've dyed it so many colors. I would like to say I dyed it over 20 times since I was 12. So it was kind of overdue for me to do and I kind of missed my old hair and I just wanted to go back to it. Especially wanted to give my hair a break because I'm so used to having it be frizzy and dry and fried and breaking and everything like that. I decided to just, you know, forego dyeing it anymore. Just let it be and just let it grow back out and then maybe in a couple years I'll decide to bleach my hair again which I kind of want to do. I already said this on my snapchat but I do want to go blonde maybe after I get married. Not right away but maybe like a year or two after. I'm not sure. I don't even know exactly when but I know definitely in the future I want to go blonde again. I will say when I was blonde I felt the most like myself that I've been in years which is incredible but I just really miss it in general too. I miss being a blonde. I was happier as a blonde. Like I know it's weird to say. At least in, in my case. I don't know if that's like the truth for everyone. I have had had so many hair colors. I've had red hair, I've had black hair, dark brown hair, light brown hair, highlights, pink and blue hair, you guys know. My pink hair now, I've done plum, which faded to like a weird blonde. I have done so much with my hair that I personally felt like, you know, being 24, it's time for me to just let my hair be and let it grow out. So that's basically what we're doing now and I'm very happy with it. My hair feels a lot healthier, it doesn't feel as frizzy or dry and all that kind of stuff that I've been dealing with for years. Just a nice change. However, like I said, I'm using a lot more dry shampoo because I've noticed over the past few months that when my hair was dyed or I bleached it or whatever down to my roots especially when it was that way my head did not get as greasy I do get greasy roots like quite often like probably like a day or two after I wash it like the greases start to come out so I've been using a lot more dry shampoo as a result notice that when I was dyeing my hair all different colors and stuff my head would not get as greasy compared to now which my hair does tend to get really greasy in my roots and stuff and it looks awful and I hate it but I definitely noticed the grease forming about a day or two after I wash my hair which is quite fast and especially fast faster when I straighten my hair. I have no idea why compared to when I like curl my hair or I just leave it the way it is. But when I straighten my hair, my roots get so much greasier. No clue why. No idea why. So basically now the plans for my hair, I did do it pink twice on the ends and I am letting it fade out now because obviously I'm going to be working soon and stuff again. I don't know how they feel about having pink hair. I do have the blue Harley Quinn hair dye so I was thinking about doing blue. Maybe if I nanny for a family and if they are okay with it and they don't see anything problem with me having um, blue ends to some of my hair then that would be great. Other than that, I'm pretty much just letting my hair grow out right now and once it gets to a certain length, I will be cutting off everywhere that you see that's pink because my hair was cut in a way when I had it really, really short that it kind of went like this, an angled bob. I'm basically just going to let this fade out for now and then when the time comes, I'm just going to try and get as much of the pink, blonde, whatever you want to call it, ends off so that it's all just my hair and continue to let it grow because you guys know I am getting married next year and I kind of feel like I needed 
needed to have like my real hair for my wedding too I don't know I'm just weird like that and I have these weird thoughts in my head all the time it's great that's kind of where I am with my hair right now don't know besides going blonde if I will ever dye my hair again because I feel like it's been a lot of a pain in the ass and I've had to buy a lot of products for all the different hair colors I've had so on and so forth so for now this is how I'm keeping my hair I know it kind of looks crazy so <laughs> As for products that I have been using, I'm still using that Head & Shoulders shampoo and conditioner even though I have had my hair dyed pink because I wash my hair in cold water. When I shampoo my hair, I only worry about the roots and then I will conditioner throughout the rest of my hair so that this doesn't fade as fast because it is splat hair dye which comes out really quick so that part sucks just to warn you if you've ever used splat. I don't really do anything too particular with my hair. I still use a lot of the same products and stuff so I figured we'd do a refresher and I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I've been using. So for dry shampoo, the usual has been Batiste. You guys know I have one from my FabFitFun box. I use that one completely up. I use my Tarte one up. But Batiste is always a tried and true with me. I always have to go and stock up on these. Definitely gonna start investing in the bottles because I go through this like in a month. I'm not even kidding. Probably a month, month and a half because I use this almost every single day, especially if I'm going out somewhere, going to class and my head's greasy. My hair gets greasy a lot faster than when it did when I was dyeing my hair. I know, it's kind of weird. This is life-changing. I've used this one I've used some other kind that I really hated the smell. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like leopard print. Floral one too and I actually just got one that is for brunette hair so I'm excited to try that and see how that goes. I'm still using this. I use it on and off. It's not one of my favorite. I don't really like hairspray in general actually to be honest. This is the Garnier Fertis 48 hour ultra strong sheer set breathable hold hairspray in ultra strong hold. Kind of near the bottom. The nozzle's all messed up. It's been scratched and nicked and everything like that because I take it to David's with me every weekend but it's a pretty good hairspray it's not too crunchy and crazy it just gets the job done for me I like to just spray it all over my head just as like a barrier so like my hair doesn't like fly everywhere too much believe it or not now that my hair is my own and it's not dyed it does tend to move a lot more than when it wasn't I don't know if that has anything to do with it but this is a pretty good hairspray I do kind of recommend it but I'm not really a big fan of hairspray in general but I just never really like hairspray that's just me though and then of course I have to show you guys my oldies with goodies these what I use when I get out of the shower every single time I wash my hair I'm still using this argan oil because on the ends of my hair are still extremely dry and bleached that's the reason why I use this I also use the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product still this is my tried and true I will always use this this is so amazing whether I have dyed hair when I don't have dyed hair whatever the case is this is just really really good I definitely recommend around the holidays to like go check out I got mine from jcpenny.com like their beauty section and I ended up getting that huge bottle of toner for my hair when I was blonde for a really good price so definitely go and check that out especially during the holidays and then the last hair thing that I've been using quite a bit the daddy's little monster suicide squad hairbrush I know I kind of got away from my other hairbrush because my hair was a lot more matted and tangled from it being dyed and breaking when your hair is dyed you do get a lot more tangles I've noticed I mean I feel like everyone knows that but I just kind of noticed that now since my hair has been growing in I don't really have any tangles it's a lot easier to manage except the bottoms do get really tangled obviously I could just easily brush it with a brush like this and get the job done and it's fine I can run my fingers through it and there's no knots really unless I've been in some weird style all day then I'll have a few knots but it's definitely not as tangled as it was I don't use my detangler anymore I mean maybe that's a word to the wise just don't dye your hair because you won't have to use a detangler and all these special brushes I do like this brush in general I don't think Hot Topic has it anymore but you could definitely find like one similar to I like Walmart or Target whatever this is just the one that David bought me last year and I love it because I love Harley Quinn still love Harley Quinn I'm collecting pop figures again of Harley Quinn so if you guys know of any exclusive ones and where they are sold please Please let me know in the comments below. So next I'm just gonna go into nails briefly. The reason I took my acrylics off was because I thought I had a nail infection on one of my nails. That was actually this nail but there's no there's nothing there anymore. It completely grew out. What I think happened because I did end up bashing this nail when I had acrylics on at Aldi's and it hurt so badly even hurt when I got home. So I'm assuming I got a bruise from it and that's what it was. Legitimately thought I had a nail infection. I freaked out and I was like I'm not getting my nails done anymore. I'm done with this. Like I'm over it. I'm never coming here again. Like I kind of freaked out nail salon that I went to and I never really mentioned it to them but I did notice that when I did have this huge bruise on my nail at the time I thought it was a nail infection so I was kind of freaking out the woman that was doing my nails actually took it off and was like looking at it and then like she went over it with the sander she was like does that hurt I'm like no but I was confused because I thought it was just like dirt or something that had gotten in between my nail and the acrylic which can happen I just was like really disgusted it was like a brown color but it was like
like a little green around it and I was like oh my god what's going on but basically what I was told which I think a lot of nail techs tell customers is that oh it's because water got in between the acrylic and the nail which sure that could be true but that's kind of gross the fact that mold will grow underneath an acrylic and your nail like I don't know it just kind of freaked me out after she took the nail off and like redid my nail and did my nails and everything after I was kind of freaked out I was like should I go to an urgent care should I go have them remove the nail they didn't she didn't really seem too concerned about it about my nail and I was kind of concerned but I didn't want to like I don't know I should have said something so that's my fault that I didn't I left the nail salon and I was kind of freaking out I was like okay well my nails are all did so this is great but now I don't know what's going on with this nail like is this a nail infection am I gonna have to go get antibiotics like what's going on like holy shit and I've seen a few videos on YouTube of girls that had gotten nail infections from acrylics at nail salons and I really freaked the fuck out so after I had that set of acrylics on for a couple weeks I took them off and then just decided to put like sticker decals on my nails and start painting them again and over time that brown kind of turned greenish and it grew out and it was like kind of fading away when I took off the acrylic so that was good so that meant that it probably was a bruise and it was just that but I don't want to get my nails done anymore I don't want to get them done anymore like it just really kind of scared the shit out of me and I don't want like a nail infection or anything like that not to say the nail salon I've been going to would be dirty and stuff like that because I've never had issues with them I never had any nail infections or anything previously so I never really think they would intentionally do that to customers because obviously that would lose business and that's completely disgusting I just decided from that point you know I'm just not gonna get my nails done anymore it's fine I'm just gonna take a break from it maybe a year or two I don't know I just don't want to have these on my nails anymore because that just really scared me along with when my blonde hair was all breaking off so that's when I decided to cut it all off because it was just awful the growth of my nails halfway where the acrylics were which I have to say acrylic nails are so damaging holy fuck I had acrylics on probably since what February you guys remember was it February or March something like that up until July constantly and I would go once a month to get them done because I didn't want to go so often and like keep paying all that money granted maybe it could have been a nail infection I really think it was a bruise because it did not hurt it wasn't giving me issues it didn't spread anywhere and it cleared up by itself so I have no idea maybe you guys will have a better insight if you are a nail technician please let me know down below but I think it was just a bruise so I'm not concerned the entire green part is gone my nail feels healthy I'm taking vitamins like I said so my nails are growing out I have been watching a lot of Simply Nail Logical and I love Christine so much as you guys know her how to grow your nails video has really been helping me so far fully for uh, I'm awful the part of my nails where my acrylics were on is probably about halfway up my nail right now so it's probably just about on all of them it's a little bit higher on some of them but my nails are growing so I'm really happy and I don't think I'm gonna get acrylics anytime soon I'll do press-ons you guys have seen me with press-on nails so I think I might just do that with like nail glue I think I'm taking a break from acrylics for a while so with that being said I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite nail products that I've been using that I really like a lot since I've been watching simply nail logical she uses a peel off base coat instead of nail polish remover which apparently is very damaging didn't know that so I ended up getting the Sally Hansen one I mentioned in my favorites video still really like this one a lot however I do still want to get the one that she uses maybe in the future but this is the Sally Hansen big peel off base coat I think it's about five bucks at the drugstore works really well however I do put two coats on each one of my nails just so it's like extra secure so when I do take the polish off it all comes off in one swipe instead of just having to struggle with it with putting one layer on I don't really have any issues with it I actually really do like this base Coat. really oh my gosh I don't know if Sephora sells this I don't know if you could probably find it on eBay or Amazon but that's the formula X cleanse nail cleanser which I got from that nail kit from influencer so thank you but basically what this is is like a nail cleanser that brush on it's like it smells kind of nice kind of na like nail polish and alcohol it's kind of like a weird like nail cleaner but I like to put that on my nails after I'm done like filing them putting on cuticle oil and stuff like that I will use this and it just cleanses my nails basically before I put on the base coat and put on my polish but sometimes when I don't use a peel off base coat I will use formula X prime XL base coat which it does kind of come off like a peel off base coat which is weird I know I use one of those orange sticks or those little wooden sticks underneath to just get off the polish I don't use anything metal or whatever to pry it off just to let you guys know and it's a really good base coat as well it doesn't really come off until you force it to come off but I will say this is not marketed as a peel off base coat I've just noticed as I've used the little stick to try and get a nail polish off when I had this on it worked really well and pretty much the same thing as a peel off one this cuticle oil I actually got from Walmart a while ago it's by pure ice fixer upper cuticle oil I would just put this around my cuticles and rub it in like so I know you should be doing it a lot more often but I don't and I have a lot of hangnails right now Ugh. we're working on our nail health here I've really been loving this it works really nicely for me I haven't noticed anything this was about two dollars I think at Walmart so if you want a cheap one this one works pretty good at least in my opinion but I haven't tried a lot of cuticle oil so 
I don't know if you want to take my advice or not. <laughs> Finally, a couple, ooh, hello, let me get the other one. Top coats that I've really been loving, obviously, is the Formula X Shine XL, which is like one of my favorites of all time. However, I'm using a lot of it, so I'm trying to slow down a little bit. It's really nice. Again, if you could find Formula X on eBay or Amazon, the Cleanse, the Prime XL Base Coat, and the Shine Top Coat are really, really good. And then, of course, Oldie But A Goodie, Sally Hansen Big Shiny Top Coat. This is my favorite top coat from the, the drugstore. It is so glossy and it makes your nails look so beautiful. I can't put it into words. Like this is probably one of the best and it keeps polish on my nails the longest besides using the Formula X ones. Really, really good. And half the time I see this sold out too. So I think a lot of y'all know this is bomb. And then this is the one I just wanted to share. I'm using it right now because I'm trying to finish it, but it's the Sally Hansen Dries Instantly Top Coat, which it does dry instantly. Getting a little cloudy in there as you guys can see. I've been using this just to use it up. It's a really nice top coat. My nails are very shiny and it does hold the color on there for a while. While I just repainted my nails on Tuesday so now it's Thursday so a couple days now these are what my nails look like and the color on my nails right now is simple colors don't text red I think that's what it's called I'm not quite sure it's the red polish and it's called like no text red or don't text red or something like that really really pretty I like this for fall and Valentine's Day and Christmas and all that kind of stuff and if you guys are wondering I'm also been doing kind of doing the same thing on my toes not really I've never really paid much attention to my toenails I do obviously like paint them and file them and you know make sure they're not gross and stuff like that but but as far as like taking care of my nails to the extent that I'm doing my fingernails I have not been doing that to my toenails as intense I should say I don't know if that makes sense so that was pretty much my little update on my hair and my nails and why I decided to stop dyeing my hair and stop getting acrylics I know in the future maybe I will go back to acrylics and getting my hair done and all that kind of stuff I really miss my hair salon and my nail salon and I just really miss it in general and dyeing my hair all different colors which is why I bought my wig so I can be blonde again but I don't know something about the wig is just it's not the same you know it's not the same as it being on your head all the time but maybe it's just me I don't know with that all being said I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and like this video if you enjoyed and I hope this video helped you out in some way if you are like me and you want to stop dyeing your hair stop getting your nails done or you want to know how I'm taking care of my hair and stuff like that I hope this kind of helped you in a sense who knows I might go back to the basic bitch fuckery in a few years I don't know I don't know but right now I'm kind of like staying away from nail salons and hair salons because besides to get my hair cut but other than that no color or anything right now did I also mention that since now that my hair this is all me that I get natural blonde highlights in my hair in the summer I don't think I have any but but just a fun fact. But yeah, so I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Now I can't wait to take these space buns out. What time is it? Oh, it's 1 o'clock. I filmed two videos. Nice. Nice. And tomorrow I have to remember to do my brow routine because this is updated, and my brows don't look as crazy anymore. Well, they kind of do.